The English Toy Spaniel, a cute little dog that is one of the few good things to ever come out of a monarchy. Before we start, please subscribe to help me make my childhood dream of having my YouTube channel monetized come true. Their ancestors likely came from East Asia. It was common practice for Asian royalty to gift dogs in return for gifts sent to them from other countries. Toy Spaniel-like dogs have been featured in paintings such as the Venus of Urbino, Sorry if I said that wrong, since the 1530s. These toy spaniels in these Italian paintings may have been crossed with local small dogs like Maltese and imported Chinese dogs. The earliest recorded evidence of toy spaniels in England was a painting in 1558 of King Philip and Queen Mary I. They would continue to be very popular with royalty. These little dogs would gain the nicknames of com the Comforter and the Spaniel Gentle, which sounds oddly inappropriate for some reason. Mary, Queen of Scots, was also a big fan. According to the AKC website, her favorite dog accompanied her to her beheading. I have been researching dogs for many years now, and that sort of reminds me of something else I've heard. When Marie Antoinette was being escorted to the guillotine, her beloved Papillon was in her arms, and it was spared last minute. Spared? So that means they were going to kill it? Just to what degree did the Queen's English Toy Spaniel accompany her to her beheading? Of course, I need to mention the English Toy Spaniel's most well-known fan, King Charles II. No modern line can be traced back to his Spaniels, but he is credited for significantly increasing the popularity of these dogs. King Charles would permit his dogs to roam wherever they please around Whitehall Palace, even during important meetings. He would often play with them during such meetings, ignoring his duties as king. It is also theorized that once King Charles' sister died, Charles took her toy spaniels for himself. Because of the significant amount of popularity for these dogs during Charles' rule, these dogs are also known as the King Charles Spaniel in the United Kingdom. They would continue to be popular amongst English royalty, and but following the reign of King William III and Queen Mary II, I'm pretty sure that's the fourth or fifth Mary I've mentioned so far, the pug was introduced to England. This would cause significant physical changes to the English toy Spaniel henceforth. By 1830, the dogs had changed to the point where they looked much different from to what they appeared in artwork a few hundred years before. Before, An English animal welfare writer named William Ewatt, if, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, said the King Charles breed materially altered for the worst. That's pretty bad considering that he said that before the kennel clubs were formed. Naturally, many people wanted something healthier like what was featured in the paintings. In 1926, an American named Roswell Eldenring, sorry, Eld Eldridge, um, offered a prize fund for the best male and female dogs that resembled the old types of spaniels shown in artwork. Eldridge did not live to see, the, see it happen, but several uh, breeders banded together to create a new breed club for the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel in 1928. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel gained full AKC recognition in 1997, and both breeds still exist to this day. The Cavalier is slightly larger and, but, and much more popular than the English Toy Spaniel. The Cavalier is currently ranked the 15th most popular breed by the AKC, while the English Toy Spaniel is ranked 137th. They, they may not seem very high, but I feel like there are people who swear by them. I mean, I was requested to make a video about the English Toy Spaniel instead of the Cavalier, right? I decided to figure out why and compare the two breeds. The English Toy Spaniel seems to be a better watchdog because they are somewhat more reserved with strangers, and they have lower energy levels. This is likely due to their brachycephalic head and their limited breathing capabilities. As I've said before, brachycephalic dogs should not be kept outside in extreme heat or cold, and shouldn't be overexercised. It's also a good idea to screen for different conditions, such as eye problems, heart disease, uh, luxating patellas, 
the English toy spaniel has a life expectancy of 10 to 12 years. They come in four coat colors, Blenheim, a red and white color, King Charles, black or a black and tan color, Prince Charles, the tricolor, and Ruby, a solid red color. The English toy spaniels are 9 to 10 inches at the withers and weigh 8 to 14 pounds. In confirmation, the smaller the better. English toy spaniels are amazing apartment dogs and they are considered one of the best dogs for senior citizens. They're great with children. Because of their size, it's highly recommended not to leave them unsupervised with children. Mostly out of concern of what an excited kid may do to a small dog. They could get hurt if they're handled too rough. If socialized properly, they do great with other dogs. They should be groomed weekly to prevent matting. That also includes their feathery ears. So would I consider bringing an English toy spaniel into my family? I have no major reason not to. Admittedly, I think I may prefer other toy breeds more, but I still like these dogs. I may consider one when I'm an old man and my grandchildren stop visiting. I've never met one of these dogs before, and I can't recall if I've ever met a Cavalier in person either. It's weird because they're so popular, yet I can't recall a single instance of me seeing one in person. The English Toy Spaniel is an amazing small dog that would make your apartment feel like a castle, and they'd make you feel like royalty. My next several videos will be requests for different livestock guardian breeds. The next episode will be about the Caucasian Shepherd. Let me know if there's any dog related topics you'd like for me to discuss. I try to fulfill every episode request, so it will come out eventually. Do you have any experience with the English Toy Spaniel? Let me know in the, s the comments. Have a great day and skip important meetings to play with your dog. Just know your decisions don't affect me.